I'm on a boat. Okay, I'm not going to milk that any more than I can. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot that existed. Yeah. Honestly, it was kind of a cute music video. Lonely Island is clever. If kind of really sketchy. But clever. I, I think the only reason why I even liked that music video was because of their poor friend they left behind. Oh, by the way, welcome back to Psychonauts. Uh, how... how oh. Ah! Ah! Luckily, you do not take falling damage in this game. I fell a very long ways, though. I'd probably break someone's legs. Oh, yeah. Even their back. Yeah, even if you're a giant monster, technically. Though, I guess, roughly speaking, he's a kid that just proportionally is a giant monster. Wasn't there some study done that said that if someone was actually massive enough, well, they, just, they just wouldn't be able to Oh, uh, your bones your bones would crush themselves under their own. Come on, go up. But also, if you were to fall over, it would be worse than if someone very, very small fell over. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, okay, good. I killed them. I'm almost dead, by the way. Sheesh. I have to go break some buildings. But I think that's the tower, actually. I'm almost at the end of this level. Yeah, you gotta get some more health. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't do any of my usual floaty platformy junk, which is kind of frustrating. But I'm, uh, there aren't any direct threats right now, so I'm going to uh, willfully ignore my extremely low health in favor of collectathoning things. Whee! Mostly this bag. Oh, baggage. He's a baggy. Baggy's happy now. <laughs> and I totally forgot to start the timer. Whoops. <laughs> now what would happen if you did a googly eyes to a bag? Uh, I mean, we could try it out. Okay, where are we going? Ah! I, I'm just wondering what, you know, people at the airport would think of it. <laughs> uh, I think they get a chuckle. Come on. <laughs> well, that would be cute. My tablet has decided to go the way of the dodo and not want to time anything. Okay! Back to our regularly scheduled programming of... Oh, uh, I got a new ability, by the way. Hmm? Notice when I jump and all these, like, weird fists come out? Yeah. That is the new ability I've unlocked. I think I got it for getting up to level 30 in terms of, like, figments or whatever. So now when I do the jump up fist move, I can charge it up and do extra damage. That's all it does. Uh, I would have thought oh, that... It that thing is... What? Okay. Bouncing through the ground? <laughs> well, it's in the water, but it do it isn't transitioning onto land, it's just running around underwater. So, uh, one thing I haven't mentioned about this game is that if you're, like, very low on health... Come on, let me through. If you're very low on health, it will actually key the pickups to what you need. So if you're full on health, it will give you uh, the psychic arrowheads. If you're low on ammo, it will give you more ammo. And if you're almost dead... It will give you plenty of health pickups, which I'm very thankful for. Even though generally I don't take a whole lot of damage in this game, unless I'm either being stupid or in this area because there's a lot of shit shooting at you. Yeah. Well, we're sorry to report that the miserable and incompetent Lungfish Navy is all but sunk. Great work, losers. Now, Kochamara himself will have to come all the way down here just to save our worthless hides. Authorities are calling for a big parade in Kochamara's honor after he clobbers the annoying giant Gogalore. And if the parade is big enough, Kochamara promises not to destroy the city. Brush teeth more often, no cruel so yeah, if you notice, Kochamara's tone is getting uh, a little bit shittier. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I like adventure games, 3D adventure games, but sometimes the combat feels a little unbalanced. Hey everyone! Here comes
Oh, splits, no. I'm surprised none of them have switched into breakdancing. Okay. So, going into this, let us recap. Michelle doesn't know who this guy is. Let's also recap. Shield. Okay. Because I can't hit him like this. He's kind of invulnerable. So what I need to do is just sit here and wait for him to come down. I mean, that voice sounded familiar. There we go. I mean, I've gotten that the name is like Coach Amara or something. You really don't. You really don't know who he is. It is is he that military dude from the beginning? Yeah, he's Oleander. Oleander. Yeah, Coach Oleander. Ah. Come on. Okay. No, I, I recognized him when he came out, and he was like stout and had the odd swirls that would have been. Oh, look at his attack! <laughs> it's weird. He like wiggles his fingers, doing that thing where you like lock your hands and wiggle the fingers in opposite directions. Oh, I see what they're doing. So are they intentionally making him look like a moth? Uh, more just kind of like a... Like Godzilla versus Mothra or something? Yeah, just a generic... Oh, he's kind of hard to fight like this, though. Because he just uses abilities left and right. Ow. I messed that one up. Luckily, you pretty much just wait until he uses his random moves. Shield. Okay, so the hard to avoid move is when he gets vulnerable and then you punch him. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then he goes back into his flying mode. Very simple, but if you forget you're supposed to use shield, he's actually really hard to fight. So do you just get power hungry and torturing kids wasn't enough for him? He had to go after the fish? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, I mean, the way he's getting the kids is the fish. And so it's in his best interest to defend the fish, pretty much. Wait, but how does how do the children succumb to the fish? I mean, the fish leaped out of the bushes to kidnap what's her face, Lily. Mm hmm. Ah, stop hitting me. But pretty much, you just wait for him to use his area of effect effect attack, and then you just go. He has the most awkward attacks, though. And it is kind of humorous that since he's... Oh, pfft, I wasn't even paying attention there. But uh, since he's a superhero, he announces all of his moves as usual. Mm-hmm. Okay, shield. And we should be able to finish him off. Yep, there we go. He is done for. Really? I didn't even know you could beat him while he was down. <laughs> no. I'm a terrible person. That you are. But I mean, really? Wait, wait. No, not in the height. Aha! Spankings! <laughs> I am the worst. But let's be serious here. I feel significantly less bad for him as I do, like, Gooskins. Even though I kill them for comedic relief as well. No, but it was Gooskins. Yeah, I actually do feel really bad killing them. But like spanking this guy? Not really. <laughs> Not much of an emotional reaction in the slightest. All right, let's go break this tower. I think I think you just climb up. So yep. what is it broadcasting specifically? Mind control. Mm -hmm. Uh like propaganda and like subliminal messaging so all of the people of Lungfish Opolis Oh, for Lungfish Office. I didn't know if it had any effect on the... Well, it controls... World. More or less, this tower is what's controlling the big lung, lungfish lady outs that were, you know, rummaging around in their mind. Or rampaging, I guess. We're not really rum, rummaging at this point. <laughs> Uh-oh. Some tower. Solves the problem for us. 
control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nab children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psychoblaster death tanks. Huh? <laughs> what? You've got the brain of a little girl? <laughs> I said, in my lab. I think you've got the muscles of a little girl, too. <laughs> Good one. It is I, the creature whose spirit was once, um, <clears throat> over here. Behind you? Yes. Oh. The creature whose spirit was once enslaved by the evil one. You have unchained my soul, and now I shall repay you, powerful human child. Oh, uh, great. Well, okay, show me what you did to my friend Lily. By the drowned spirit of Oblongata, it is done. <laughs> Tell me he's nom, 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 taking nom, nom. you somewhere and that she isn't in the stomach. No. We're finally hitting... Oh, I can't say the end game, but we're getting pretty close. And by pretty close, I mean this is kind of like the last overworld area so... of the game. I was right. It was Linda. Magical lady. So, is the coach behind getting people's games? I thought there was some mad scientist dude. What the hell do I have in my hand? It's a horn. Oh! I thought it was just a random fish skeleton that I was carrying around for no obvious reason. Okay, so you found her bracelet. Yes. Okay, so, um, it, I, I could barely remember, but I always thought at the back of my mind that his name was Linda. Well, you'd refer to him as Linda. Who are you working for? What? Uh, I'm with the Psychonauts. The who? Oh, that doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Oh, I see it's David. Okay, what was your question about Lily? No, no, no. You just found her bracelet. Oh, yeah. Right now I'm looking at these, what, Oops. statues embedded in the walls? There we go. Yeah, so... Kind of hard to see, but this is the abandoned mental asylum. Super virus? He's mentioning super virus, huh? Yes. So, let's talk to him again. This is the milkman, by the way. The squirrels? I have mentioned the milkman before. Yes. He... His mindscape is my favorite. Out of all of them, I believe. The squirrels have eyes. You gotta let me in. My friend's in there. Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the milkman. I'm the guard. Who are the puppet masters of... Okay. So he's not the milkman yet. He's sleeping on the job. His milk is delicious. Everybody wants it. He'll be here soon. Then the lies will end. That sounded a little wrong. I love this game so much. What about the whole everyone loves his milk? I'm just shoving my it. face into his ass, by the way. Ew. <laughs> no. We, when you find out where the milk is, it's awesome. Okay, let's... Psycho portal. And the milk is really milk, right? Better not be anything else. Oh, damn it. Hmm? It's 
perfect, isn't it? Yes. Almost complete. Just a few missing pieces. Yes, now, which piece talks about the milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those 3D paintings? I can never do those. No, you just gotta learn to see it like I see it. There's something in the fridge that might help you see the world like I do. Ooh, sorry. Uh, I don't drink. Before noon, I mean. Hi, Mom! Look at me! It's a thing. Bear badge! Mm -hmm. We can now... You can use clairvoyance. And clairvoyance is kind of cool. Because it lets you see... Kind of the world... Through other people's eyes. Mm, yep. So... We're gonna have to go use it out. Uh, use it on things. So... There's some figments around. Yeah. Oh. Didn't realize how many there were. I'd actually just pass them off as furniture. Back by the uh, stove and stuff. Oh yeah, there are a bunch. But... No. Actually, between episodes, or kind of apart from episodes, or after this episode, I'm not terribly uh, sure how I'm going to structure it, but I'm actually going to go and do clairvoyance and kind of show off a couple of things. But, for the time being... See through this guy's eyes and see how weird the world is. Mm -hmm. The milkman's dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least that's what the media would have you believe. Is he dead or not? Go to the graveyard. Dig him up. Hope, hope, find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. <laughs> Ignore it. Yep. Oh, what? It's a little confusing at first. Grave digging. But quite honestly, this of all of the characters you you will run into in this game, this guy is the most insane out of all of them. And I like hearing what he babbles about. Yeah, no, it is actually really cool to hang out uh, around him. But just doing the entire level is going to be really cool. But we will do that on the next episode of WanderBots because I have to go get a psychic uh, cobweb duster. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to do everything in here. And it won't let me for... Oh, that's how I do it. Uh, let's get out of here. terrible. Am I sure I want to do this? Yes, I want to go back to the real world that badly. Fun fact, I've never used that before. Hmm. I've never actually used the smelling... Well, I never used the smelling salts the previous time I had played. But, we will go back into the milkman's mind on the next episode of Wanderbots. How do I call Linda? With the horn! Oh, the lungfish call! What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. Nom nom nom. <laughs> nom nom. Nom nom nom. Nom nom. <laughs> Whoa, do you see a face in the sky? Whoa. No, I did not. This is going on long enough. See you guys then. Bye. <laughs>